What is up gents, Dirtbag Gaming here, the channel for casual raiders. I'm writing down how much silver we have currently because this video is going to make us a shit ton of silver. Uh, it's all about organization when it comes to gear. Like right now I have 921 out of 1300 uh, jewelry pieces and out of my main gear, which I have to go through as well, uh, that'll be a separate video, we have 1157 out of 1300. There's not enough slots in the game to keep everything and we probably known that since the beginning but they keep increasing and they i think they started at 700 like a while ago went up to a thousand now it's up to 1300 <clears throat> and still it's it's very hard to not be maxed out all the time i do sell gear cleansing guides so if anybody's interested in that hit me up in discord um but today's video is all about how much silver we're sitting on not even knowing that we're sitting on the silver uh how do we make a, a shit ton of silver as fast as possible and the answer to you guys is probably in the jewelry set so it took me i've been playing it for about two years now in raid and i have 921 pieces still after continuously selling um in big chunks here is going to be the tip we're going to go through one by one and I'm gonna show you the steps to take to keep and kind of cleanse all the jewelry that you have on your account. So again, I wrote down 1,170,035 silver, and then at the end of this, we'll see how much we have after selling these pieces. <clears throat> so first thing, you'll notice we just have a shit ton of stuff. Now they break this up per category, and that's kind of what we're gonna do here. We're gonna start off with the rings, then we're gonna to go to the neck pieces, and then we're gonna to go to the banners. Now, rings uh, are probably the easiest ones to get, uh, and they're gonna be the ones most used. Why are they the most used? Because we can use them on level one. So you can put anybody in a ring. You need them to be five-star ascension to use the neck piece, and then you need them to be a six-star ascension to use the banner. So however many six-stars uh, ascension you have on your account, that's how many banners you're gonna need. Uh, and it's per faction, so, I have a ton of six stars and probably a mid game to beginning of end game player isn't going to have that many six stars. So you don't need a shit ton of banners. You need more rings and neck pieces over banners. <clears throat> and there's specific stats you really want for banners. So that way it's a lot easier to sell your banners than it is your rings and your neck pieces. So first off, we're going to start by going through the rings and we're going to filter. There's only three options. There's HP, attack and defense. So we're going to first click on the HP and look how many HP rings we have per slot. Now again, it's per faction, so I really only need maybe two to three rings per slot per faction. That's the first tip, is you wanna keep two, if really good, three rings per slot per faction. And some of the slots you don't even need to keep, like attack neck pieces, you don't need attack neck pieces. We're just gonna sell the attack neck pieces. So we're gonna start here, I have a shit ton of dark elf rings in hp slot so if i have uh if i'm end game i'm just going to sell everything five star everything five star i'm just going to go through and just sell everything so that might be the first thing to do is you if you go to rarity and then this is new so if you go to rarity and then you just go to boom and you just click all of the ones that are five four three two one and you just cl uh, click all of these, you can then just go through and delete all of the five stars you have. Now the ones you wanna keep are probably the special ones, like this one. Gives a rare, sh uh, a rare shield worth 5% of the damage inflicted. These are the ones you get from Clamber's Clan. These ones you might wanna keep just because they have a very, very cool uh, secondary that you can get. Now if it's shitty, like this one example, defense, I get defense percentage, that's not bad. This one down here, I get uh, HP, HP percentage, that's not bad. So those are the ones I would keep. If it was like an attack ring with like base stats here, you might want to uh, delete it. And again, these are all five stars. So I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna delete all the five stars that aren't special gear. Now this one's level 16 already. It's pretty good stats. Um, so I mean, you might want to keep this, but again, I'm doing this for a video, we're just going to delete it. We're deleting all the five stars. This one's a special one. We'll delete that one, delete that one. We'll delete this one. Uh, these are all special. This one is not bad, so we'll keep that. And then these are all special rings up here. This one we can delete. This one we can delete. Uh, these two we can delete. So there you go. I just got rid of 13 pieces for 584,000 silver. Already off to a good start. Cool, so we got rid of those. So now I can get rid of these uh, selections, and then we're gonna go back to 
our primary stats. So ring primary stat, first one HP. We're gonna go through and save the best two, maybe three of them that I have. Now, how you do this is you save doing this during a artifact enhancement event or Clamber's Clan, because then you can actually level these up to level eight, see what it rolls, and if it's a shitty roll, get rid of it. If this one's a shitty roll, get rid of it. If this one's a shitty roll, get rid of it. If this one's a shitty roll, get so like you're you're basically rolling it up to eight and then you're keeping the best ones. So what I'm looking for here, if it's an HP ring, I'm looking for HP percentage substat. Uh, I'll delete this blue one automatically just because it's a blue and I get to roll three times in these purple ones. So I'm gonna look for uh, HP 5%, so that one's gonna be gone. I want like a 7% to start. So this one's 7% with attack. Uh, this one's 6% and attack and defense. Uh, this one's 6% attack percentage. So there you go, 7% HP, 7% defense, 6% attack. They're all percentage. I should probably move my head. <laughs> all right, so they're all percentages. So um, that's that's the best one that I want to keep right there. All percentages, I'm keeping that one. Percentages, uh, crappy attack, but 6%. So basically I'm looking for 6% shitty, 7%, 6% attack, 7%, and all percentages. So I'm going to keep these three rings. So that, that's that one. Now I already made 376,000 silver, all five artifacts. These two, there's only two left, so I'm not even going to look at these two. There's four here. So I'm going to look at the blues. They're both percentages, so that's not bad. And this one has a percentage there, but it's a special ring. This one has percentage there. So I'm going to delete these two um, blue ones, and we're going to keep these two. So this one I'm already automatically going to delete. Uh, this one's a, a special one, which has a percentage, which I'm going to keep. And this one has uh, a rolled percentage, percentage, I'm going to keep these two. So any legendary ones, if I have two or three of them, I want to keep them as long as they have the HP percentage. Let's go down to this one. There's a lot of orcs. So I'm going to delete these ones automatically. Uh, this one's a special one, but it's it's a percentage there. I'm going to delete that one automatically. And then these ones, it's special, but there's no HP percentage. So that one's a tough one. I'm only going to keep because it's special. This one rolled twice, didn't get any HP, so I'm deleting that one. These ones are legendary, so we're probably gonna keep these ones. They're all percentages, yep, all percentages. So I'm keeping these ones in here. This one, again, only keeping it because it's special. So let's go down here. Uh, there's only five or six Shadowkin. This one's blue, rolled defensive. It's not bad, it's just we have a lot more options uh, in here. This one didn't roll the percentage at all, so I'll delete that one. And again, it's tough because this is a new faction, so we're not gonna have a ton of gear in this Shadowkin, but you're gonna keep the best two out of three sets on this, unless there's special stuff that you have in here. So there's a special stuff, so, so we'll keep that one. Now, let me pause the video, because I'm gonna go down after this one. I'm gonna pause, see how many rings I sold just in HP, all right? So we'll do this one. So I'm gonna get rid of, this one's a special one, but if you think about it, 25% chance to change a critical hit into a normal hit. I'm probably not gonna ever use this on a support type champion. So I'm gonna delete this one because this won't really matter. If I'm using an attack type champion, I'm not gonna care about getting hit first either way. So this one's getting deleted. I have a 16 piece right here, I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, this one has an HP percentage of 7%. We'll delete that one. 7% HP, this one rolled no HP. So basically I'm gonna delete this one and keep these three, all right? So now let's pause it, I'll be back, and then we'll see how many uh, rings we deleted with HP. All right, so we got towards the end, here's a good example. So there's there's three of them in here, they're all blue. This one wasn't rolled yet. So you should probably roll this to an eight, see if it hits two times in um, HP percentage. If it doesn't, sell it. This is, uh, so whichever one of these two is worse, you're gonna sell. So this one hit one in HP, one in flat defense. So this one I would uh, upgrade but I can't right now, but I would upgrade this. If it doesn't hit two in HP, I'm gonna sell it. I'm already gonna sell this one because I know this one's either gonna do one and one or two and one, and if I get two flat stats, I, I screwed myself. There's only one high elves HP thing here, so I can't sell it. I only have one of them. So there you go, we got 24 HP rings, <clears throat> and I made 1.58 million silver. And I remember in the beginning of the game, 1.58 million silver is amazing. Uh, like I would kill to get that much silver. So we kept most of these, they're all legendaries, legendaries. This one, there's really good substats. Uh, HP, I could probably sell this one. 
HP defense. So these two are both subsets. So I would roll these two. If they didn't land an HP percentage, gone. So get rid of those. Here's an example. So we'll, we'll roll these two real quick and then I'll let you know which one we're gonna keep. All right, so this one didn't roll HP at all. Uh, you can go up one more time, but this one did roll HP and this one didn't roll HP. So we're gonna sell this one. Six star epic for 80,000. <clears throat> cool. So those are the rings. Now we're gonna go off of HP and then go into attack. Now attack is a lot easier to go through because HP can be, be worn by anybody, same with defensive, but attack are specific champions that you're gonna be using attack with. And really it's attack type champions, but are you gonna use them in PVP, PVE? Um, what type of champions do you wanna put them on? Thing, things like that, like there's bomb champions that all they want is attack. <clears throat> there's people that you want to die, so the bomb champions only need attack, they don't need HP or anything. So this one, you can tell we have a ton of attack, and we can literally do the same thing. We're gonna sell the blue ones. If they didn't roll any attack percentage or HP percentage or anything, like I'm not really gonna keep the defensive ones. If it's basic attack or basic defense or de defense percentage, I'm gonna sell those uh, substats. So let's go through all these and give you some examples. First one, uh, we're gonna click the sell button. This one is a rare one, but again, attack type champions aren't gonna be new at needing this. So I could sell this one because it is a five star uh, and I don't care about getting hit first because if the attack type champions gets hit, they're gonna die. So we're gonna sell that one. This one's attack percentage defense, attack percentage HP. So that one's not a bad one. So we'll go here. This one rolled HP defense. So this one's a shitty one. This one didn't roll any attacks. So I'm gonna sell this one. This one. Uh, doesn't even have attack, so we're gonna sell that one. And then we'll keep this blue one that has attack percentage and HP percentage. So there you go, I kept this one, and what's this one? This one is chance to turn that one, but look at those stats, they're very, very good stats. So ignore that, very good stats, we'll keep that. These three, uh, this one is, again, not the best, but I have attack percentage here. So if this doesn't roll attack percentage to the next roll, I'm probably gonna sell it. This one, let's look at this, we have HP defense. So this one is shitty but it gives it the wearer shield worth 5% of the damage dealt. So this could be good for um, Scarab King, I think, that you need a shield. So the Blood Ring is one of the best artifacts that you can keep. So I'm, I'm gonna keep this one just in case I need to have a shield on somebody. So that is a good ring to keep. These ones, let's go here, uh, attack percentage 7%, that's awesome. Uh, no there, but look at that, 5% chance to prevent skill cooldown, I might keep that one. This one didn't roll any attack, so I'm gonna delete that one. This one rolled one attack, but it has HP percentage, which isn't bad for PVE. Uh, this one rolled two basic HP, so we're gonna delete that one. Uh, in this 12 spot, uh, rolled attack once, HP percentage, so this one could be a good one to keep. Because you have your percentage, percentage, so we'll keep that one. This one is a blood blood shield. That's the only reason we're keeping this, because of blood shield. And this one, if this doesn't roll, uh, this one's Again, this, this is the 5% chance to prevent skill cooldown. This one isn't bad. If you have relentless set uh, attack type champions, like just having this on them, a chance to prevent skill cooldown. Again, you get these from Clan vs. Clan. If you guys are interested, we have two spots available for Clan vs. Clan. Hit us up in Discord, uh, we'll, we'll invite you in. So uh, I'm gonna pause this, go through all the attack rings, and we'll see how many we have at the end. All right, so we got 36 pieces at 2.45 million. That's a lot, that's a lot of pieces. That's just one category. <laughs> so we still have defense that we have to go through. Now defense, this one's gonna be quick because in my defensive type champions, I started using HP rings instead of defensive rings. Uh, we found out that in this game, you don't really need a lot of defense to still do good. You need maybe 25 to 3,000 max defense, which is a lot easier to get than you know 80, 90 K HP. So I'm gonna go through the defensive rings and if it doesn't have HP substats, I'm gonna delete them. Let's, let's go through it. If it has any attack whatsoever, delete it. <laughs> so here we go, we got two uh, defensive rings, the HP percentage there, and this one rolled defensive and HP, so I'm gonna keep those two. A lot of high elf rings. Uh, let's get rid of all these blues. Simple, let's get rid of all of them. This one is a blood ring, which is very good. So the HP in there. Uh, this one, HP defense. So then we'll start at the legendaries. HP percentage, good. HP percentage. HP percentage. 
So that means I can get rid of these two. I'll keep this one because this one has all, all percentages. So we can roll this and see what it is. Um, so this is basically what you're doing is you're going through all of your stuff, you're deleting all the crap. And then during the artifact enhancement event, you can actually go through level all these up to eight and just gear cleanse one more time. Uh, and just go through all of them and just get rid of the ones that rolled flat stats or just shitty rolls that you're not really looking for. All right, so let's go through here. We got this one, uh, HP percentage, but it has the 5% skill reset. So we're gonna keep that. We'll get rid of these, get rid of that. And then I'm only looking for HP percentage. So no HP percentage. Uh, chance to turn a critical hit, but again, I'm never gonna use this because there's no HP percentage. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one, uh, very good, very good. Uh, HP percentage, HP percentage, and HP percentage. So I'll probably keep these, level them up to eight, see if it rolls any HP. If it doesn't, get rid of it. So let's pause and go through all these. And here is another 30 for almost 2 million on top of that. So what was that, 30, 60, like around 90 pieces we sold so far just in the rings. All right, so now let's go into neck pieces. Neck pieces are gonna be simple. Um, the only way to get accuracy on the accessories is either a banner straight accuracy or a substat accuracy for neck piece. So that's really what I'm trying to gear my guys towards is if there's no accuracy on the neck piece, it's very hard to keep. Um, most of the time you're going to need accuracy in this game. So first thing you want to go through is all the attack neck pieces. When are you going to need attack? You're going to need attack with bombs. Literally it. So if there's no bomb champions in that faction, you're probably going to want to sell it. So there's no bomb champions in Dark Elves. Or there is, <clears throat> but I think we already have it on uh, the one champion that has it. It's the, the one legendary bomb chick. I think she already has an attack ring and you can always click equipped and see so since it's not equipped on her you can probably save one of these for her right so you can do that or you can just put an accuracy substat on her and be good so we'll keep the one that's a six star the bomb dude from knight's remedy you want one of those uh there's nobody in skinwalkers that has bombs and if this was a five percent chance to prevent school cooldown we would keep it but it's not <clears throat> same thing with this one same thing with this one. And these three, high elf, bomb, no, don't don't need it. Uh, these two obviously is, is the best one in Demon Spawn because of the, the one dude. So we don't have to sell any attack or we're gonna keep the best attack ones for the Demon Spawn. Undead, same thing. And then down here is a 5% chance to prevent skill cooldown. So we're gonna keep that one. It's the only time we're gonna keep it. So there you go, we got nine attack, neck pieces, sold, done. So then we only have HP, defense, and crit. So defense, I'm most likely not going to keep the defensive ones. Now, if there's any of these, uh, we're going to go through, get rid of equipped. If any of these don't have accuracy on it, uh, I'm probably going to get rid of it. So we're going to get rid of a ton of defensive neck pieces. Because again, I, I switched to HP rather than defensive. So we're going to go through this and we'll see how many we have. All right, so this one, we kept one to two per one. Uh, we sold a lot of them. So there's actually 41 pieces we selected. That's 3 million. Uh, we just got right there. So then uh, HP, uh, you're gonna wanna probably keep a lot of them, but uh, HP with either, you gotta think resistance teams, you're gonna want a lot of resistance. Accuracy team, you're gonna want a lot of accuracy. Um, HP, really, those are the two things I'm looking for is um, accuracy or resistance. That's really it. So we're gonna go through all, there's a lot of HP ones. So I'm gonna go through the HP ones and then finally the crit damage. Crit damage is pretty simple. You want probably accuracy. Uh, or just six star crit damage ones with the specific stats you're looking for. So it could be attack. Uh, most of the time it's gonna be crit damage with accuracy, uh, crit damage with HP. That's, that's really it. So uh, I'm gonna sell the five stars and just keep all the six star ones. Two to three best ones that I have per faction. So I'm gonna go through HP. Uh, we'll see how many we have at the end. All right, so this one was harder than I thought because there's a lot of HP pieces that you really wanna keep. So what I would suggest here is we already still sold 20 of them. All I did was I get rid of all the five stars and any of the ones that have. So what I'm gonna suggest is go through this for artifact enhancement and just level up to, up to eight and, and then sell the ones that don't, like this one landed two in accuracy, it's a six star blue. So I would keep this one because it landed two in there. If it landed one resistance, one accuracy, 
then you can think about selling it. So I would go through and level all these to level eight uh, and then sell the ones that you don't want and keep like the best two out of three. So that's what I do for HP. Crit damage, uh, let's go through this. So the crit damage ones, we have a ton because that's the main one we're using for damage dealers. Um, but again, we're only gonna be using it for damage dealers. So I wanna go through and get rid of all the ones that aren't uh, six star. So get rid of all the five star ones, unless they're specifically needed. Like this one has a 5% chance to prevent skill cooldown, but I'm getting rid of that, get rid of that, get rid of these. This one, 5% chance to prevent skill cooldown. Uh, keeping, I guess, the 16 because they're already leveled up. But we're getting rid of all the five star because they only go up to 33% instead of 40%. So we're just going to get rid of all of those. And then again, go through the ones you're going to keep that are obviously six star, but look for, again, accuracy, um, the specific stats you're looking for. But if it doesn't have accuracy on there or attack or HP, then you want to get rid of it. Again, defense, you don't really care about. Resistance on these ones, you don't really care about. Um, but attack and HP and accuracy are the ones, the stats you're looking for for the crit damage. So same thing with here. Go through here, level these up, and get rid of the ones that you don't want. Uh, probably the blues, if you have a ton of them, get rid of the blues right away. They're probably going to be the ones you're going to get rid of first. So we'll sell all those. Now I'm going to try and shorten up this video. We're already at 21 minutes. But let's go over banners. Banners, I'm going to do the same exact thing. This one is a lot simpler though, because you're only gonna need two to three banners, um, again, per thing, but resistance, specifically resistance, uh, defense, attack, HP, I'm only looking for that specific stuff, and, it has, and if it has speed. If it doesn't have any speed, just get rid of it. So HP, here's an example, I'm looking for HP percentage and speed. If it doesn't have those two, you wanna get rid of it. So this one, <laughs> HP and attack percentage. So this one you should probably get rid of because it doesn't have an HP percentage. So we'll get rid of that one. This one has HP percentage and speed. It rolled two in HP, so that's good. These ones, HP percentage and speed. Uh, speed and defense, so we can get rid of this unless it rolls like two speed. Um, and this one has speed, HP percentage, but it rolled two in speed. So we're keeping that one. And again, I'm gonna do that for every single one of these. If it doesn't have HP percentage and speed, uh, you want to get rid of it unless it rolls yeah. double or triple in speed. Like this one can roll three times in speed and then you'll keep it. If it rolls two in speed, get rid of it. If this one doesn't roll two in speed, get rid of it. Uh, this one, HP percentage and speed, keeping it. But if any of these ones don't have speed at all, you, you're just getting rid of it. There's, there's real, like this one is terrible. If this doesn't roll two in speed, you're 100% getting rid of this one. Like, there's no reason you should keep this one. Uh, same thing there. Same thing there. Yeah, so you want to go through all of your banners, and literally you're just looking for uh, speed. If there's no speed, instantly selling it. And all of mine have speed, because I usually do this. And that's the first thing I sell is the banners that don't have speed on it. I don't know if we can find one that does like if, if I can filter this out without, you know, speed, that'd be a lot easier. But yeah, this would be another one that you can go through, level them up to eight. And if it's not double speed or, or rolling speed, you're just going to get rid of it. Like this one is just super bad. I don't even, I don't even want that one. So we'll just sell that one. Uh, these ones, same thing, same thing. Yeah, that one's very bad too. So it's a five, five piece. I have three other ones. That one's bad. This one's pretty bad, so you gotta you gotta sell that one. But it's defense, speed, and defense. Yeah. So if these don't roll speed, just sell them. That's a pretty good one. So that's the same thing there. Now accuracy. Literally, all you're looking for is accuracy and most likely speed and HP. Resistance. Now resistance is a little bit different. Resistance, you're probably just making as tanky as possible. So resistance is tough because you really only need a certain amount of resistance banners. How many resistance banners do you actually use in this game? Mainly is for Doom Tower specific bosses that you really need to. Uh, a PvP team that you want as much resistance possible, such as Duchess, um, Sifi, um, Scarlord Val Vargal, uh, Hakeem Smash Lord, like champions that are super high HP and resistance type. That's what you need resistant banners for. So you can actually go through these and just delete the, and keep two maybe, 
Like you don't need a lot of resistance banners. I have these because it's just been saving stockpiling for a while now. But here's a, here's a two speed with HP. So that's actually a good resistance banner. This one, HP and speed and attack, but this has 96% or 96. I use this one. I swap in and out for, uh, um, what's his name? The guy in dwarfs uh, that puts up the shields. Brogni, Brog that, that one guy, you know what I'm talking about. That's who I subbed this one out for. Um, because he just needs as much resistance as possible. And it's my only six star one that I have leveled up. So go through the same thing here. Uh, accuracy, you're mainly going to be using accuracy banners. So you're going to have more accuracy than any anything else. Accuracy and HP. So the accuracy banners, look how many accuracy we have. A lot. So I have to go through these and get rid of all the ones that don't have six star accuracy now. I don't really need five star accuracy. Six star accuracy and speed mostly. If it doesn't have uh, speed or roll speed at all, you're probably gonna get rid of it because your accuracy is gonna be going on your um, uh, attack champions as well. Like your cold hearts, you need accuracy with speed. Uh, all the other stats aren't really as, as relevant. It's mainly just roll speed. If it doesn't roll speed, sell it, all right? So <laughs> I might wrap it up here, but let's go to, that was without selling the rest of my neck pieces and the rest of my um, uh, banners but from what when we started we made 13 1.3 130 million is that what it is 130 million silver because the K is, is messing up so we went from 170 thousand so I guess that's 1.7 billion <laughs> uh, to 182 so that's a lot of silver I just gained by just selling half of what I was going to show you guys. Because if I dash, if I sold everything, it'd probably be like I don't know an hour of just going in and just focusing. Uh, but that's a lot of freaking silver. And again, we're all probably sitting on it because we have a lot of stuff that we don't need uh, that we should just cleanse. Uh, if you guys are lazy and you want me to cleanse, hit me up. <laughs> I do have a cleanse. Uh, I can cleanse your main stuff, uh, the thirteen hundred gear or the uh, accessories. Uh, accessories are going to take me a little bit longer, um, so it's probably like an extra five, ten bucks. But the main one, uh, it's twenty bucks to do the the main gear because it takes me about an hour. Uh, but if you want the jewelry, it's probably going to be like twenty five to thirty, depending on how much you have. But got hit me up in Discord. I'm always free. Uh, I work from home, so I'm able to do this whenever you guys are, are available. But also with Clan vs Clan, uh, we just finished up. We have one spot available right now. Uh, but we're always rotating. If you don't have over 150 uh, clan versus clan points, we rotate you DBN3, which is our sister clan, or DBN7, which are which is our newer clan. So if you guys are interested in that, hit us up on there. But guys, hopefully this helps you out. Hopefully this is like, uh, don't sit on the silver because it's there. You should sell it and use it. Um, but this is definitely going to help out newer players as well because if you guys are starting to save up all these accessories, you're going to get rid of the ones that are just crap to begin with. Um, so yeah, appreciate it guys. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Um, and yeah, more videos to come.